Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. In the five and a half years that I've been shooting videos, I have done ribs all kind of ways. I've done them dry, I've done them wet, had them sauced, had them glazed, built up layers. You name it, I've pretty much done it. But today I'm going to show you my go-to ribs, what I normally do off camera when I'm having people coming over. And I even bring these into work for the guys and ladies down there as well. And everyone that's tried them just absolutely love them. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do them today in this video. Let's get started. If you want a good backyard barbecue till you get your feel, you come to the right place. Rest your smoky reels. Smoky reels. Smoky I want you to take a look at this slab of baby backs. Look how thick and meaty that is. I mean, that looks like a whole pork loin with bone in is what that looks like. Matador meats. It came straight from Matador meats. Membrane's already been removed for you. These are going to be some kind of fine ribs right here, and I can't wait to try them. I, I usually prefer spare ribs over baby backs, but it's been a long time since I've done baby backs. And I seen these ribs on a video from uh, Baby Back Maniac. Justin over there, Baby Back Maniac. He did some competition style ribs using these exact same ribs from Matador Meats. And I was just super impressed. Had to try them. Matt sent me a set out, a rack out. And here they are. And the way I always do my go-to ribs, it's just a very simple recipe. It's just mustard. I'm using that as my binder. I just, I really like the mustard. I've tried other things, I've tried oils and all, but it seems to me the reaction I get from people when they taste my ribs, they always have mustard on them. I mean, they just absolutely love them. All right, we got a pretty good coating of the mustard all the way around. Now you can use your favorite rub. What I'm using is the Texas Best Rib Rub from Heaven Made Products. Absolutely love his products. All across the top. We're not going super heavy with this. Just a good generous coating. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place my hook in here. And then finish up. We're gonna go one, two bones. Place the hook right through here. I want to go ahead and get that out of the way so I can kind of touch up any rub I knocked off. I've got the pit barrel cooker already coming up to temp and I'm using pecan wood today if you're wondering. I've got about three small pieces of pecan wood. You don't need a lot. It's a, a big rack of ribs for what it is, but it's only one rack. So three small chunks is going to do it just right. Going to give it that nice kiss. A pecan smoke. All right, it's been about 20 minutes since I got this fire going in the pit barrel cooker. So we're going in with the ribs. Don't those look good? We're gonna hang them right there. We're gonna cover them up and I'm not gonna look at them again for another hour. All right, now I'm gonna show you one of my secret weapons. Now I don't normally use this particular uh, brand of whiskey right here. I normally use like a Kentucky bourbon and I'm, I use this on my last rack of ribs and man it was delicious. Pecan peach whiskey made by Old Camp. That I'm not promoting them. I don't know them from Adam and uh, we tried this. My wife had a little small bottle of it that she had purchased and uh, I tried it on those last rack of ribs and man you talk about good. Now what I try to do, I don't know how many ounces this holds, but I'm going to hold about right there. If you notice the shape of that, I'm going to say this is somewhere between a third and a half of the capacity of this bottle. I think you'd be all right half and half of uh, the whiskey and then just straight up apple juice. Not apple cider vinegar, but apple juice. 
Yeah, I think we're real close to a 50-50 mix right there. If you want to go one-third and two-thirds apple juice, that'll work too. I've done that as well. But man, you talk about adding a flavor. I have used alcohol in numerous cooks in my videos throughout the years. And I always have a few people on these videos ask me, is there an alternative that they can use instead of using the alcohol or beer or, or whatever? And normally you can just omit it. But on this particular rib recipe, you've got to have it. But so you know, when you spritz this, the ribs, and it goes back into the smoker, the alcohol is gonna evaporate. It's gonna burn off. I had one guy comment on one of my videos and was saying that not all alcohol, there might be a minuscule amount still left, traces. It is so insignificant, it don't even matter. Believe me, the majority of alcohol burns off. So, you know, if, unless you're just dead set against cooking with alcohol, then you can use it if you're just, you know, wanting to avoid actually consuming alcohol because what it does, the alcohol flavor and the taste completely disappears what it leaves behind is like the flavor of the barrels the oak barrels and such that the alcohol was actually made in and seasoned in all right we've been going one hour let's take a look and see what they're looking like oh they're already getting a nice color on them now this is our first spritz Hold them real good. That's all there is to it. We'll come back in about 45 minutes and we'll just keep doing that until they're done. All right, this should be the last time I have to spritz these. We're about 30 minutes away from these being done. Just going by time on these and I'm also going by this right here, the pullback looks fantastic. Oh, these are gonna be some kind of good. About 30 more minutes. I do believe we are ready to come off of here. We're gonna lay these over here on the cutting board. We're gonna let them rest and hang out for maybe five to 10 minutes. They're piping hot right now. Let me turn these around. Take a look at that beautiful color. We just wanna let these rest. We'll be back in a few minutes to cut these up. All right, we are cutting into these ribs and I'm here to tell you this is looking Fantastic. Look at the meat on these ribs. Just take a look at that. That is like a little mini pork chop. My goodness. I tell you what, I have never seen baby backs look like that. That is part of the loin, the, the pork chop area. It's like they left a lot of meat on there for these baby backs. I mean, that's like a little mini pork chop right there. We're fixing to dive in, dig in, and see what this is all about. Here we go. I've always heard that meat is sweeter closer to the bone, and that is no exception with these ribs. Absolutely fantastic. Matador Meats, if you're interested in getting you some very meaty baby back ribs check them out i have a link in the description box with a code for 10 percent off as well very pleased with this cook like i said this is my go-to recipe for ribs try these with spares try them with baby backs make sure you use that that spritz that they use that is the magic of these ribs right there in a the nutshell use whatever rub you want i promise you you're not going to be disappointed absolutely fantastic hope you enjoyed the video and until next time smoke your ribs mm -hmm.